everybody, and welcome back to the Steam Train. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is 3 p.m. on this wonderful Wednesday, and I actually have an announcement before you guys before we get started. So every year, New Minds has done a cardboard challenge, and this year we're still going to do one. It's going to be on Wednesday and Tuesday of next week, so the 21st and 22nd. We're going to start it here at 7 p.m. We're going to have a big announcement with Mr. Justin. He's going to kick off the show, tell you guys all about it. Then we're going to go ahead, keep going. We're going to have the show go to people in Vietnam first. They're going to do it overnight for us, but it'll be the morning for them. It'll go to Lebanon. They'll take over the next part of the cardboard challenge. And then at 8 a.m. back here, we'll be doing the cardboard challenge also. It's super awesome, and you'll hear more about it in these coming days, but it's free, so you should completely go and check it out. It's going to be super awesome. All of our shows on that day are going to be based about it, and just feel free to check it out. The one thing I have for you guys is make sure you start saving cardboard now. So that way, a week later, you're going to have plenty of supplies to do the cardboard challenge. You're not going to want to miss it. Announcements out of the way. I am Mr. Dorian, and I hope you guys are all doing well and ready for another New Minds Steam Train. Let's go ahead and see what's inside of our box so we can get started today. It looks like we have a full sheet of paper. Normally we just use our scraps, but we do have a full sheet today, so we'll see what that's about. I've got some scissors something to write with, something to color with, some square sticky notes, and some more things to draw with. Thank you, Mr. Box. So, I think I have an idea of what we can do with this. We are on the week of design, and I think today we're going to talk about graphic design. All graphic design is, is designing pictures images or graphics for different things. If you need a business card with a cool picture, that's what a graphic designer does. If you need a poster, that's what a graphic designer does. They're a type of artist that is for marketing, advertising, stuff for people to look at and then they want to buy something. So we're going to do one of my favorite ways that people use graphic design. We're going to make a cover for an album. An album is just a selection of songs but we're going to do it in a more unique and abstract way. I'm going to make my album cover about the steam train. If the steam train was a song, what would the picture on the front look like? And don't worry if you've never seen an album cover before. I'll show you a couple variations and some inspiration ideas and some examples. And then you can go ahead and make your own. But step one, before we even do that, we're going to use these square sticky notes to do our rough draft because they're usually square. And then we're going to make this big one into a square. So since your sticky notes are already square, you're all set on those. But to make this a nice big square, we're going to do the folding trick that we've used in a couple previous episodes. If you haven't gotten any previous episodes, check them out on newminds.tv. But we're going to fold this corner to this other corner first. Fold it over. That looks good. And now all you need to do is draw a line and then cut off this extra bottom piece. So when you unfold it, you'll have a square. So I'm going to trace the bottom of this flap. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can even just use your eyes and take your best guess if you don't want to fold it. It being perfectly square isn't the important part of this project. Now I unfold it. I have a line to cut across. I'm going to cut it and I will have a nice square. Cut, cut, cut. I'm cutting right on the black line. And now I have this square. So when I'm doing this, I want to think about what image this is going to show. I need to think about the feeling of this song or myself or whatever I'm doing an album cover for. What colors is it going to be? What kind of items do I want to add? And I'll show you some different examples. So this one, it's very relaxed music. So what's on it is a collage. We have some fruit, we have a person holding it, we have some leaves. 
This is a very relaxing and calming picture. There's a lot of white space, so it's going to be a very relaxing song on here. Maybe something else? This one has a lot of notes in it. So they used musical lines, they have pianos, they have the instrument line. They actually have all the names of the song on here and the name of the musician. So this is a cool one. They only used one color for this one, so that's pretty interesting. Maybe you have a movie. You want to add different things from the movie. So this one right here is for one of my favorite movies. Well, the cool thing is that people are wearing sunglasses like they are in the movie. You have all the characters, you have the name, you have a car. All these things are important to the movie, so they designed it like this and they use interesting colors. Some of them are more simple. Sometimes it's just a picture of the artist. This is just a picture of an artist laying in some grass. It's a very relaxing picture, so you can expect some relaxing music. This one is more abstract. They took the title and they took all the letters and they threw them all over the place. This title of the song is The Watermelon Woman. So there's a woman and there is a watermelon, but it has all the letters kind of thrown around the page. So this is another way you can make it more abstract and this is more abstract music. A lot of jazz artists would just have a picture of them looking kind of sad because jazz is sometimes kind of sad. Here's Miles Davis. He's a little bit sad in this picture. He's holding a trumpet. It's kind of hard to see with the glare. And then last one. This is the most relaxing one I have. And it's just this peaceful building sitting on a hill. But the cool thing about these is they tell you a whole bunch about the music without ever having heard it. You can see if it's going to be exciting or calm. If it's going to be who's singing it. You can see the artist. You can see all sorts of different things about it just from the image on the front. And that's where you come in. You're going to make your own images for your own art. This sticky note is just for a rough draft. I kind of know what I'm going to do already, so I'm not going to use them. But I would do a rough draft first before you go ahead and use a whole piece of paper to make sure you know what you want to draw. So I'm going to do one for the steam train. I'm going to put these scissors away because I don't need them anymore. Clear off my space. I'm going to put this in my scrap paper that I'm saving. So I know I have this. I know the steam train, I like. To, I have a lot of energy when I talk, so I'm going to draw a big kind of kapow thing in the center. So I'm going to draw sharp pointy lines, showing all the energy of the show. Just keep going all the way around. Because remember, this is the first thing people are going to see. Before they hear any notes or music, they're going to see the front of it. So you want to make it look super awesome and tell you more about what's going on. So now I have this big kapow in the middle. And it already is full of a lot of energy. It's like an explosion. It's like, wow, that's a lot of energy. Sharp lines usually have a lot of energy. Curved lines are usually more calm or smooth or cool. I think since this is the steam train, I want to add some numbers, some science, some engineering stuff and some electronics kind of exploding out of the edges. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna put the S for science over here. I'm gonna put like a little beaker for science. Draw some bubbles in there and a liquid, just like this. And I'm gonna draw some lines to make it look like it's flying out. And now on this side, I'm going to put the technology part of Steam, so I'm going to draw a little robot face. Draw him little antennas. So now I have a robot face on this side, so I have the ST for Steam exploding out. Just a reminder, this is whatever you want to make it for. If it's about your life, if it's about your favorite song, all sorts of different things, you can kind of see what you want to put into it. I'm putting these things because I'm doing mine for the steam train, but yours is going to be different from mine. Next I need engineering, and I think I'm going to draw a simple machine. I think I'm just going to draw a wheel. That's the easiest one for me to draw.
there we go. Now I've got the wheel exploding out. And now I'm going to add some math onto it. So I think I'm going to do my favorite number, 7, exploding out on the other side. And there we go. The seven's going to look backwards for you guys, but it's over here. And now I have the start to my cover, but I need to figure out what to put in the middle. Now I think since this is the steam train, I'm going to draw a big train in the middle. And I'm going to draw me in the train like, hello. So for my steam train album cover, I'm going to draw that. And our intro song, it has whistles in it. So I think the train is going to look really memorable if you can't draw perfectly that's okay I don't consider myself a great artist but I just try my best it'll turn out as something and that's better than having nothing on the page so this is kind of the start to my train it's a little bit short but I think I think it'll work out I'm gonna add some wheels on the train. Oh yeah, train wheels have these little bars connecting them. So I'm gonna draw those. I think I'm off to a strong start. I'm gonna draw another train car because I have some empty space and I wanna kinda fill this up so it looks more energetic. I'm gonna draw a little connector. Maybe? you don't want to draw an album cover, maybe you want to make a poster for your favorite movie or your favorite TV show. That's another awesome project that you can do that still uses graphic design. Maybe you want to make a business card for your fake restaurant you have at home. Or you want to design a super awesome menu for it. That'd be super cool. So now I have my steam train. And I think I'm going to add the word steam train on it just to make it look so people know what they're looking at as soon as they see it. On the top, I'm gonna write steam. I'm doing big bold letters. Now I have steam on here. It's gonna look backwards for you guys. And now the last thing I need to write is train. And I think I'll have a super awesome cover. All I need to do is add color to it. And there we go. So this is my awesome cover I made. And I think the last things I want to add is just coloring in the train I'd probably color in the whole thing if I had more times, but I just want to color in the train for now. I can always work on this later. I want to have some bright primary colors so it looks more like learning. So I want to have this part be red. And I want the train to be green and blue so I have all the primary colors. I think I'm gonna add the roof is blue. Let me find a good blue. This is blue. There we go. I'm gonna color the front yellow. It's not a primary color, but I think it is a good color to add. Is this yellow? Yes, this is the yellow. There we go, we have the steam train. I have some extra space right here, so I think I'm gonna add my face kind of popping out. So that way we have every part of the steam train. We have the science, technology, we have the engineering, we have the math. The arts is this part with all the primary colors. We're gonna have me and I have the title. I have the energy of it and the explosions. I think this is gonna be an awesome cover for the steam train songs. And maybe you watched this morning steam train and you've made your own song. You're going to need a cover for that song. And I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. 
So this is my finished project. It's going to go up on the wall. We have plenty of projects now. We have a whole bunch of stuff up there. So I'm excited to see what we do next until this wall is going to be completely filled all the way around. We just have no more room for stuff. This is my project. I'm really happy with this. I like how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in to another Real Inspired Learning with New Minds. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Keep practicing your passions until it becomes your talent. Maybe it's graphic design. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.